So I tied a knot at the end of the Kevlar cord and I hooked this in back of the fin. I put a very small drop of CA glue there and that'll dry in just a few minutes. That's going to hold the bottom of this Kevlar cord down at this point. And after that's dry, I'm just gonna pull this tight. I'm gonna run a bead of CA glue along this. And tomorrow morning, it's gonna be a nice, dry, um, completed uh, rebuild. Okay, so the small drop of CA glue on the end is dry. All I've done is pull the cord tight, just tape it down on the end. And I'm just going to run some CA glue along this, and that's going to uh, hold everything in place. They might be wondering why I'm using CA glue. The CA glue is very good at soaking into things, and this will actually penetrate the paint and soak in quite deeply. But it also penetrates and soaks into the Kevlar cord. Um, so it's a very nice glue to use for this type of repair. So let me go ahead and put the glue on here, um, all the way along here, a nice uh, even coat. And then by tomorrow morning, it's going to be all dry. Okay, I don't know if this is visible on camera, but you can see I have a nice uh, little bead of CA glue running all the way along uh, this cord now. So this cord is glued all the way down, a little knot on the end of the fin down here, and there's glue all the way along here and to here. So this will go ahead and dry. So let me go ahead and uh, fix the uh, recovery cord on the nose cone. I'm going to take the old cord off and just put a new cord on with a new streamer. So the glue is dry on this. See, again, I have a knot on the end. I glue this down all the way along the fin and the body. Again, what's nice about this is that the cord goes in at this point, but the rocket engine ends right about here. So I can now put some wadding inside of the body tube before it gets to the Kevlar cord. That way it's not going to be burning through the Kevlar cord anymore. Again, this whole repair is based on the fact that the Kevlar cord, when it rests across the engine, uh, can char, burn, and then pull apart and snap. And you can see this is a very strong connection on here. So now I'm just gonna make this look a little bit better. So the simple fix is that this is a dark blue body. So I'm just gonna put some black marker along this and it's not going to be very easy to see once you're stepped back from the launch pad. But again, it's uh, just a quick fix to get this uh, covered up just a little bit. I could dig out some blue paint, but uh, this is a very quick solution. And again, this rocket's been repaired so many times, it's really not going to matter that much. But it's now flyable, and I can go ahead and put this on launch pad and get it up in the air in a couple of months. Um, the other thing is that I also have completed the nose cone. As you can see, I put a lot of uh, laps of the, a lot of wraps, I should say, of this cord. And it's got the toothpick in here and a lot of glue just to make sure this is strong. So the only thing left to do now is to attach the cord, attach the streamer, and I'll be ready to fly. 